Hello and welcome back to MechWarrior 4 Vengeance. In the last episode, we defended a base and we salvaged a Mad Cat. We, s we have a Timberwolf that we can play with now. That is so awesome. So we're going to get into the campaign. In this next mission, we're going to be taking out some barges on a river. Let's see the mission briefing. Young Duke, I wanted to tell you something. In the years when you were away from home, your sister, Joanna, always supported you. She felt your father made a terrible mistake, and their relationship was never the same afterwards. I would never speak ill of Duke Eric. He was a great man. But seeing you now, I realize your sister was right. I think your father realized it too. He just didn't know how to apologize until it was too late. Thank you, Carl. He told me. I just wish I could have told him that I forgave him a long time ago. I am sorry, young Duke. Commander, just wanted to say I was happy to hear your sister's okay. Thanks, Jules. You know, I hate to admit it, but I wasn't sure we could pull it off without the Colonel. Guess I didn't figure we'd make it. I'm glad you stuck with it. So am I. Steiner doesn't know it, but they've already lost whatever happens to any of us. I just want to be around long enough to see when they realize it. I'll make sure you get a front row seat. I'll take you up on that. Ian, I wanted to tell you how much everyone here appreciates what you did. We never would have been able to hold the base against Steiner's assault without your team. Word is spreading. More people are beginning to understand it doesn't have to be this way. We can push back. We are pushing back. I've discussed something with my people. I'd like to broadcast the news of your return. I've kept my identity a secret until now, but I think it would be appropriate to let the people know that we're both here and fighting for them. Do you think it's the right time? I do. A lot of people who are unsure who to support would side with the resistance if they knew there could be a legal succession. Then go ahead. You know the people of Kantaris better than I do, Joanna. I have to go, but I wanted to tell you that your returning has already made a difference. Now that you're back, I know we can turn this around. We'll do it. Together, Joanna. I'm surprised to see what we salvaged last mission, young Duke. The Donegals must have just procured them. I've never seen one before. It's a Thanatos. Brand new battle mech design. I doubt this one's seen any action until now. The paint still looks fresh. You should look it over. It can deal a lot of punishment, and it can take it. Mostly ballistic weapons, so ammo will be a factor. But in a quick fight, it'd be tough to beat. Heavy armor for its class. Can't say from experience, but this chassis could be quite solid. It'll take the punishment, that's for sure. All right, so let's head into the mech lab and see these two new mechs that I've gotten. We've got the oh man, I really need to clean this up. I don't know how you can do that. We've got Thanatos, 75 ton heavy. Ooh, nice. What has it got for medium pulse, MRMs, LBs, a lot of ballistics. Very nice. You can probably put on it's a nice combination of LBs on this thing or ultras or anything, really. All right, let's just save that for now. We also got our Mad Cat. Oh, the good old Timberwolf. That is awesome. A whole bunch of lasers, whole bunch of missiles. We're gonna strip that down. We've got omnipods, it's got lots of lasers, it's got everything you could ever want. Which is gonna make it one of our primary mechs. I'm gonna run this myself in the next in this episode. I'm just gonna decide here what I want as my mechs. I, I got, I've dialed in this catapult build. It's done. It's not gonna change until the mech gets superseded by something else. I've got the Argus, and I've got the Vulture. I think the Vulture is a nice one. Argus is also nice. We'll equip the uh, the Thanatos here with something. I think I want to go along the same lines that it had. It had an LB, so let's make it a great big short-range brawler. Let's give it that LB-20. I could just give it an LB-10 and lasers and call it good. Give that great big LB-30 short-range punch. Give it uh, some med lasers, four meds, four backups. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see here. Maybe an extra ton of ammo. Max out its armor. 
shave off to get the nice round tonnage. Oh, it definitely doesn't need jump jets. Nine tons left. What to take? Maybe give it a short range missile rack with uh, some tonnage there and then speed it up a little bit. So this will be a nice short range brawler. And now where is our mad cat? There it is. Oh man, this thing is so flexible. It can do so much. I love that about it. We could do some LRMs. We could also do some some streaks on it. Oh man, there's so much we could do for it. We can even do a pair of uh, light Gauss rifles and just medium lasers on it. Which would be amazing. I have no idea what to do though. There's just so many good choices. Uh, we'll give it a pair of large lasers because those are always a good weapon. And maybe uh, some mediums. Oh, come on. Stop uh, derping there. We'll get the ER mediums for it, which are in short supply, but they'll be on me, so I won't have to worry about it. Uh, max that out. We're going to have the point one, but I guess that'll be okay. Uh, get a little bit more heat efficiency. Maybe take some streaks. Or we can just uh, make this a real real standard um, meta mech here, right? And just go pure laser bomb. <laughs> Although we'd have to uh, move into um, IS mediums here as well. Unless we wanted to take another uh, clan large. What if we take three clan larges and the t two mediums and then Heat sinks. And what? Drop a couple points on each leg to get that extra ton. Oh, we need. Yeah, why not? <laughs> it's it's so meta. <laughs> oh, I'm, su I'm such a bad person for doing this. But that'll be our Mad Cat build for now. We're going to capture the barrage. We're going to give the Mauler to Jules because he's got the best accuracy. We'll give the no, Thanatos. No, wait. She likes the Thanatos because she likes to get close. This guy will stay in the Argus for fun. And I will go in the Mad Cat. Excellent. And launch. Control, this is Omega. We're set. Let's get this mission started. Roger, Omega lead. Savage 2, are you in position? Roger, Control. Standing by. Omega, the barge shipment should be just ahead of you. Once you take out their escorts, the barges should surrender. They're headed to an outpost at Nav Beta. We'll need to have the escorts neutralized before they reach Beta, or the Resistance won't be able to get in and salvage the supplies. Roger, Control. We'll neutralize the escorts before the barges get to Beta. Seven of those barges are packed with munitions, Omega, so watch your fire. The Resistance will need at least four of the barges intact to supply their offensive on the Eastern Peninsula. Acknowledge, Control. We'll make sure that we don't wind up sinking them in the assault. Good plan. Luck. Control out. Sensors All right. online. We destroy the armed escorts. Online. We all got a primary capture online. four of six barges. The secondary is capture all six barges. And at least the four barges must survive. There he goes. Destroyed. Benefit is that we're in water right here. So our energy weapons are going to be uh, even more powerful as we'll be cooling off even more. So our our super meta entirely energy build is uh, going to be useful here. As we can just lay into these guys and not worry about our heat at all. Target destroyed. Push forward. Target destroyed. Enemy Uzeal. Nice big ol' hit into him. We captured that barge. Gotta keep moving here. Alright, everyone. Drop that Uzeal. He's being troublesome. 
But we're going to keep moving forward. Because we want to make sure we capture these barges before they get away. And also, there's uh, more enemies to shoot over here. Although I think my uh, medium lasers were out of range there. Ah, but oh well. Not like I have to worry about heat here. Do, do, do. Oh, so nice to just punch target straight through destroyed. the CT. Scratch that target. Target's destroyed. Destroyed. Easy peasy. Excellent. So another barge captured. And what is this? Oh, it's a Loki. Cool. What is that? That's a a Hellbringer, if I remember correctly? Or is that a summoner? I can't remember. With the Loki and Thor. I think that's a Hellbringer. That's cool. Alright. These barges are getting away. Yeah. That shouldn't be much of a problem, considering uh, we are running them down. Whoa! CT crit! That's, uh, annoying. We just gotta... capture this one last barge. So that we don't have to worry about chasing them down anymore. There we go. Now we have to destroy the escorts. Attack my target. Copy. That's a roger. Copy. Get away from my barge. I don't want you to damage it when you explode. Oh man, don't these guys learn to torso twist? You're just making it easy on me. Ooh, he's down. Wait for him to get back up. One more big ol' hit into him. And I think this patrol boat will be the last. Control. All ah. have been neutralized. The that was easy. Sitting ducks. Roger, Omega Need. Salvage, it's your show. Roger, Omega Control, we're moving in. Good work, Omega. Roger. Not bad. Six for six. Walk in the park. Omega, hold position and provide cover for salvage. Once they're clear, head up river and return to base. Nice job, team. That was, uh very strong for us, considering the, the fact that we had entirely, uh, energy-based loadout, and we were in water for the entirety of the mission. So, that was lucky on our part. What do we get here? We get some more weapons, and we're always just going to get more weapons. And we just got to watch out for cool weapons that pop up. We get a couple more ER medium lasers, that's really important. And we got a Loki, so we'll be trying that mech out in the next part here. But for now, thank you for watching this episode of MechWarrior 4 Vengeance, and good hunting.